Hello everyone watching Cinema Cafe Net. I'm Kira Sedgwick. Well, I think there's something really special always about the first season and about the first about the first show. Um, I think there's just something so fresh and so it, it's so interesting to look back and, and you know see um, what a long way, how far we've come, how much I've learned, how much we've learned about the characters. Um, I think it's it's great to watch everything, you know, have it all, all, you know, six seasons and be able to, you know, see how the relationships have um, grown and uh, people's performances have grown and gotten better. Um, I, uh, you know, my favorite part of the show is always the personal um, stories, you know, the, um, the character arcs and um, the uh, character journeys. Uh, and, you know, I, I like the mysteries and I think it's great that we have a murder mystery every week and that, you know, she gets to close the case and that those interrogation scenes are always very special and usually very well written and, you know, require a great deal of, of work and preparation. But it's the personal moments between all the different characters that always are the most interesting to me. Well, it was great when Kevin was there because I always knew that he was such a good director. He's great with the actors, he's great with camera, he's great with story. And he also knows when he has it, so we're not going to spend like 15 hours on, you know, we're not going to spend uh, too much time on one scene. He knows when, when he, you know, he's done. Um, so I always had a very easy and simple time when he was there. Um, and the other actors grew to love him as well. Um, <clears throat> I was very nervous about my daughter being on the set. I, I, you know, I didn't think I was nervous until the first day. And then when she started to do her first scene, I was off camera and she was on camera. So I was sort of next behind the camera, but next to it. And she was saying her lines and I was at simultaneously mouthing the words of her lines. And, and my co-star Fritz, John Tenney, said to me, Kira, you're mouthing her lines when she's saying them. And I said, no, I'm not. And he said, yeah, you are. And I said, no, I'm not. And my daughter said, yes, you are. And I was like, oh, I couldn't believe it. I was so embarrassed. I felt terrible, but I stopped doing that. But I think it was, a, it was an example of how nervous I was, you know, that I just, I was like hoping that she was going to be okay. And she ended up doing an, a wonderful job. I seriously doubt it. Um, he never was on my show as an actor. Um, I, we always joke that maybe, you know, if he did my show that he'd show up with like a, you know, a fake nose and fake teeth or, you know, something like that. Maybe I'll do something like that on his show. But I don't, I don't see it happening, but you never know. I hope you enjoy The Closer's final season on DVD. Thank you. Thank you so much. I can say anything I want, and it can't be used against me in court. Okay. I kill those people. Last season. Oh, come on, you can't just leave me here. I have a feeling I'll be looking into your eyes again very, very soon. Chief, you sure we shouldn't stick around? The moment she won't take back. I'm positive. Let's go. Is the moment that changes everything. TMT July 11th. It's the closer's most provocative season yet. Terrell's mother filed a civil suit for the wrongful death of Terrell Bailey. I did nothing wrong. Who can Brenda trust? What is this all about? The other guys are starting to ask questions. I think they're hiding something. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else in the LAPD is going to end up having your back. How about I just quit? Then I'll tie this lawsuit around your neck. Brenda Johnson. 最後の事件。